Hello and as always thanks for watching. In this video we're going to cover tab management within the community builder component that plugs into Joomla. So to go into that, mouse over components, go down to community builder and the second one down is called tab management. Click on that. Now this can kind of be confusing for beginners so I'm just going to lay it out to you straight. Um, it's kind of a hierarchy meaning that you have your profile which is this right here with the community builder and the position okay you've got head middle right and tab main this position is going to speak to different areas okay this is the right area for example this over here is the top oops, is the top area this is the another area this area down here with these two tabs this is called tab main okay so just like your whole template has sectioned off different module positions your profile has sectioned off little areas for pieces of information and that's what position means within the different positions the different areas on your profile you can have different tabs and the best way to look at a tab is kind of like a small bucket of information and then what you put inside that small bucket are going to be your individual fields okay and so that's how it works you've got your positions which are different areas you've got your tabs which are going to be small buckets of information so this tab right here is all one bucket these tabs right here across the top are all one bucket same with the other positions and inside that bucket we can have different pieces of information which is going to represent the different fields we can make and when you create a new field one of the things it asks you is what tab is it going into and this drop down list here is going to correspond with how many tabs we have in the tab management area and so this is asking you what little tiny bucket do you want this field to go into and then once you do that you have a further or have the further option to within the tab management all your little tiny buckets with different fields within them then you get to tell where you want those to show with the position and how you can change positions is going to be within the individual tabs themselves again when you think of a tab as like a small bucket that the fields go into and down here you actually can change the position of where this bucket exists and as you can see there's a a lot of different options there. So that is really the whole secret about tabs and field management. To create a new tab is simple enough. You just hit new tab. To create a field is also simple enough. You just click new field. But it's important to understand that that's how tabs and fields relate. Isn't it? Again, I'll just review. On your profile, you have different sections. Like this is the right section. This section up here is called head, and this section right here is called main tab. Um, these are known as positions within the tab manager. And I'll go to tab manager, and on this column here, it says positions. And you have more positions than what you see right here. You can add more. You can do much more with it. But these are just the default that Community Builder gives you and then within those different positions pretend that like, there's a little bucket so in this bucket here you've got the you got the fields called online status member sense last online last updated connections hits and all of these exist in the user status tab so it's good to look at this as the bucket called user status its position is on the right side which is why it shows up here on the profile to the right of everything on the right side and then within this section right with the tab bucket called user status there are different fields that go into this user status bucket that can be found in the field manager and to see what those are one of the columns with the field manager it says the tab what tab is it located in this field right here is basically tell or it's this column is saying this field or, or let's do this next one online status is in the user status tab okay and here it is online status and this tab this bucket is called user status and the and there it is online status is within the user status tab and when we go to tab management we'll find that this tab 
user status exists on the right hand side. So this will help, I mean I really don't need to go over creating a new field, new tab, because like I said you just click here and fill out the blanks and it's very self-explanatory. However, it can cause some frustrations if you're not understanding how to position a tab or how to create new tabs or how to put fields within different tabs and that's how those two uh, the tab management the field management relate and that's really what your tab manager is for uh, it's going to represent a miniature bucket of information that you get to stick uh, fields into so just one more time for review your field manager makes fields and those fields get placed into different tabs and the tabs get to be moved around where they show this information of all the fields on the front of the profile by the position you place them into. So um, I hope that helps out and keeps you straight on tabs and versus fields and kind of how those can be used. Clearly you can see there's really unlimited options as to how many tabs you can make, how many fields you want to put into each tab, and then finally where on your profile are you going to make those tabs show up and appear basically addressing the layout of the information on each of your profiles. So, thanks again for listening and I hope this helps. See you on the next video.